Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lancers. Today is Friday, May 26th, and we have a great show planned for you guys today. That's right, Shannon. We're going to have a story on Morgan, as well as Band, ASB, and Lancer Link live in the studio. That's right, Micah. We're also going to have Robbie on DeGero and Max on Magic Window. So let's get it started. I'm Channing Headley. And I'm Micah Carlson. And CHS TV starts, starts right, right now. Welcome back, Lancers. To start off the show, a story on my dear friend Morgan, a dancer here at CHS. My name's Morgan Mills, and I'm on the varsity dance team at Carlsbad High School. Morgan's passion for dance first sparked at a very young age. I was around two years old. I was kind of displaced in dance, but through the years, I learned to love it. And growing up, Morgan made it her goal to one day become a Lancer dancer. Being from Carlsbad and having my dad from Carlsbad High School, he really encouraged me to be on this team. I always used to support them when I was younger, so I kind of just grew up looking up to them and wanting to be a part of it. Now that she is a part of this team, Morgan has discovered the many benefits that come with being a dancer. I think that dance to me is like an escape. If I'm stressed or I just can't, handle anything that's happening outside of it. It's just a place I can go and just release all my emotions. This release is one reason why she plans to continue dancing in the future. Next year, um, I'm planning on dancing at SDSU, and I'm just really happy that I'm not just going to completely let go of it because that would be super hard just cutting it all off right at senior year because I know I have more to give. From her very first class to her final high school showcase, Morgan has given it her all, and there's no doubt that she'll do the same next year. For CHS TV, I'm Channing Headley. Thank you, Channing and Allison. Yesterday, the school board held a meeting to discuss flying an LGBTQ plus pride flag on campus for the month of June. Ray Skruskin covered the event. It will show us that you hear us, respect us, you see us, and you love us. The Bible quotes, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, chapter 22, verse 37. I felt a warmth flow through me. At CUSD, treating me with love, that school became my home. Reject the proposal. If all children should be loved, that's not what this is about. We support all of our children and love our children. This should not even be a topic that we are needing to discuss. It should have been passed years ago. They've been asking CUSD for permission to fly the pride flag for years because it means something to so many of them. Flying the LGBTQ flag alongside it would, could be considered a political statement. Lower education school campuses are not appropriate locations. After an hour of discussion, the board members are ready to vote. It's clear that whatever their decision may be will heavily impact the Carlsbad community and its students. Thank you. Ms. Trustee, please call for a vote. Trustee Williamson? Yes. Trustee Ward? No. Trustee Rebecca? Yes. Trustee Rawlings? No. Trustee Pearson? Yes. Motion passes 3-2. Shame. 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 This is shameful finding a tactic to postpone a conversation we came here for. Standing behind me is the aftermath of today's meeting, where passionate community members show their clear disapproval with how the meeting went today. Thank you, Race. 2023 graduation lays and kikui beads are now available for purchase on www.lancerdancers.com. 
Blaze will be picked up at the CHS football field entrance between 10 to 12 on the morning of graduation. Looking to grow your leadership skills, the Carlsbad Ed Foundation is now accepting applications from all interested Carlsbad students who will be in grades 9 through 12 next year. You can apply using the link in the graphic. For our first break in the announcements, we have GSA Club and ASB live in the studio with Bella. Bella, what's up? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with members from both GSA and ASB to talk about their big event coming up. So, El, what is the event happening on June 1st? So, on June 1st, Thursday, we're having a uh, Pride Month celebration in collaboration with ASB and GSA. Nice. And Emma, where is this event taking place? Yeah, so like El said, it's next Thursday on June 1st. It's going to be outside the ASB room at lunch. And Katie, how is ASB helping to oversee this event? Um, we're going to help by playing some music, being very inclusive, and setting up, taking down, and just being there to support. So I hope I see a lot of you guys there. All right, you heard it, Carlsbad. Make sure to support on June 1st. Thank you, Bella. CHS Peer Tutoring is available in the library for students. This covers a wide range of subjects. It is open on Mondays and Fridays from 7.25 to 8.25 a.m. and Tuesday through Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 after school. Please visit the counseling website for more information. As the semester closes and finals begin, please utilize this free resource to help finish off the year strong. You can now access Schmoop through your Clever dashboard, where you can access a wide variety of resources that can assist students with study skills, essay writing, and resume building. Now standing by live is Luke Whitehead with CHS Lancer Link. Luke, what do you have for us? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Luke Whitehead, and I'm here with a few members from the Lancer Link. So, Kalia, what did you guys just write? We wrote an editorial offering our opinion on comments made by Assistant Principal Williams at the Mission Church meeting last Friday. That's interesting. And Zoe, how, do, how were you able to research this topic? Yeah, so we used a lot of the sources that the Mission Church used themselves in their speech. And then we also did our own research to back up any claims that we made in our article. And finally, Cece, uh, what was the goal of writing this article? We really wanted to call attention to some of the intolerance going on in our administration and inform students about our position on this issue. Make sure to check their work out. That's all I have today, and I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Luke and Lancer Link. CHS TV reached out to Vice Principal Williams, and we have yet to get an official statement. In other news, all Kelly alumni graduating this year, there's a group photo Wednesday, May 31st at 4 p.m. at Kelly Elementary. Please wear whatever college you are attending's merch. The Shine Project Foundation and Blue Glasses are looking for volunteers for their field day with special needs students on May 27th. Reach out using this email in the graphic for more information. Now we have Charlie live with Band to talk about their spring concert. Charlie? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Band to talk about their spring concert. So, where is the spring? I mean, when is the spring concert? Uh, jazz band will uh, kick off uh, the concert tonight at 6 and then uh, the rest of the band at 7. Thank you, and where is this concert? Uh, the Community Arts Center here on campus. And lastly, how much are the tickets, and where can you find them? So you can buy tickets out at the front of the theater. They're going to be $5 if you're a student or teacher, and $10 for general admission. Thank you guys for coming on. Make sure to check it out if you're interested, and I'll send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Charlie. All sophomores who have signed up for AP US History, please stop by Mr. Isbell's classroom 8106 at lunch Tuesday, May 23rd through Friday, May 26th to pick up your copy of the APUSH Summer Assignment. The 2023 Free Heart Screening is for ages 12 to 25. The screening takes less than an hour and is painless. Visit the website on the graphic to register. The Carlsbad City Library offers free online homework help under their webpage under e-resources. E Apply for a library card online to access this and many other databases. Now we have Robbie live on the Jero at the beach to talk about the weather. What's up, Robbie? Gloomy. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Robbie Rains. I'm here at the beach right in front of Carlsbad Village to give you guys a quick weather update for the next week or so. So as you all know, it's been pretty gloomy, and misty, and overall just kind of overcast for the last couple days. And that, unfortunately, is going to continue for about a week. Um, so to start, as far as the temperatures right now, it's about 67 degrees. Uh, that's the high for today, and the low is about 56. And that same pattern is going to continue for six or seven days until next Saturday and Sunday when the weather finally will um, start to warm up and the sun will start to shine through. So that's a great start to our summer, Carlsbad, because as we all know, after finals week, we have summer. Um, as far as the water temperature goes, it's about 64 degrees right now. So that's not too bad. It is trunkable. And if the water uh, warms up a couple degrees, it should make the, a start make a great start for our summer. So have a great next couple weeks, Carlsbad, and I'll send it back to Channing. Thank you, Robbie. Max Harris is live on the magic window. Max, what's up? 
Thank you, Channing. Again, I'm Max Harris, here to talk to you guys about the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. As you guys all know, this Monday we will have school off because of Memorial Day. Now, I want to talk about what Memorial Day really is. Memorial Day is the honoring of all fallen United States troopers within the military, the Army, Air Force, or Navy, anyone who died protecting this country. All the way from the American Revolution, where we gained our independence at the battles of Lexington and Concord, to the American Civil War, where we fought at Gettysburg and turned the tide, to the First World War, World War, where we fought protecting democracy against monarchism in France and in Britain, and also World War II, where we fought against the Japanese and Germans, with many tragic events occurring, like Pearl Harbor and the Normandy invasions, and countless naval efforts and battles, as well as the Vietnam War, another painful sacrifice where troops died protecting our country and its morals. So this Memorial Day, when you have your barbecue, your parties, or when you hang out with your friends, keep in mind that the people who allowed you to do all this are the ones in all these gravestones, as you can see on this graphic here. They died protecting our country and making sure that we could do these things on these days. So again, I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thank you, Max. This Monday, CHS TV will be releasing our documentary, It's About to Get Really Loud in Here. Here's a quick look at what to expect. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, make sure to check out the documentary when it comes out on Monday. Um, yeah, that's right. We hope you guys have a good long Memorial Day weekend. But this was Mike and I's last time ever anchoring. So for the last time, peace, peace out. out.